Hi everyone, welcome back to this new video. I read all the comments under my last The Playground video and I'm really amazed how many great ideas I've read there. I haven't replied to most of them, but I read them all and there really is a sense of the series that you post comments, I read it, and I give my very best to, well, make videos about this. I'm going to start with one thing that I've read the most often. Implementing some kind of user roles model. So like an access control list, ACL, where we can have a middleware or some kind of protection which says this route is only accessible by, let's say, administrators, whereas this route is accessible by everyone and so on. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video or probably depending on time, the next few videos here, I will implement such an well, ACL, such an X control list. We're not actually starting from scratch. I have a simple application here, which has three routes here, which are accessible even though we're not logged in. However, I still can log in and I have three users set up for this. Um, a normal user, an admin, and an author. However, at the moment, all these users are equal because no roles have been implemented. That's what we're going to do in this video. However, I can log in. The login functionality is fully implemented. As you can see, I now get this log out button here, so I am actually logged in. And I can still access all the routes. I can click on generate here, which doesn't actually do anything but says, hey, article generated, great. So. This is the app we're working with and what I want to do is, as I said, I have a user, an author and an admin user. And I want the admin to be the only one who may access this admin panel here and, well, later, once we have implemented it, assign roles to the free users I created. These are the free users I have as a seed in this project. I also want the offer and the admin to be able to access this offer route. However, the offer should be the only one who is able to click this link and actually generate a new article. All users, including the normal user who is neither an admin nor an offer, may access this main page here. So that is what I want to achieve. Now the code with which I'm going to start, which creates this application, will be available in a GitHub repository to which you will find a link in the description, of course. So this is the actual project I'm starting with. As you can see, I already get, get some views here. These are uh, the views we just saw in the application. I get a migration file, the user's migration file, which just creates users with first and last name, email address, which should be unique, and a password. And should get rid of this, we're going to create this together. And I also got this user table seeder here, which creates my three, well, users I start off with. So that is where we started. And in, well, the next part, we'll have a look at how we start implementing our roles functionality. See you there, bye.